Hey guys, Rory is here. Welcome back to Outer Wilds. This is the first episode that I'm, where I'm playing it, where I haven't edited the previous episode, because uh, I'm gonna start doing more episodes of this until we finish the game. I'm glad though that I quickly went back and I checked to see what I said in the end of the previous episode that I'd do today. We got some interesting ideas to follow up on. <laughs> I'm already excited. Okay, same as usual start. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into space. Oh, is that the quantum moon? It's the quantum moon. <laughs> I love doing that. Okay, okay. Where is Dark Bramble? There it is. The distress beacon on Dark Bramble. See, I talked about how I was going to... I'm going to follow the distress beacon. Because there's a there's an escape pod of the Nomai that is on Dark Bramble somewhere, and there's also imag I imagine somewhere the vessel that the Nomai took to get to our planet or get to our solar system. There's also the interloper that I have to try and land on at some point. God, I hate Dark Bramble. I hate it so much. It's so gross. This is the quantum moon again. <laughs> it's following me. You know what? Let's slow down to a stop again. Inside it? God dang it. Oh! <laughs> oh, that put... I've never, never felt that before. Oh, I got like... It is the weirdest, like, tingly sensation all at my back. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking, it's because I was thinking of, um. Oh, crap! <laughs> I didn't put my suit on! <laughs> oh, I was thinking about the fucking. the, uh. uh the anglerfish inside Dark Bramble, and then this fucking tentacly thing hits me in space! <laughs> That's the worst, that's like the worst, but also the best false start I've ever had. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, I, I'm literally like, my internals are like, inside of my body is like, it's like squirming. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Dark Bramble, where are you? I hate that I'm going to Dark Bramble again. <laughs> I fucking hate Dark Bramble. My least favorite. I keep seeing the quantum moon around Dark Bramble. It's like it's leading me there. It's like this is where you need to go. I hate that though. I hate that this is where I need to go. Okay, well I'm gonna take it real fucking slow. Cause that's the strategy that seemed to work last time, is just like drifting through without using my jets. What I noticed is that when I go through these Seemingly, I'm always directed in the same path. Like, it takes me and it throws me in a direction. No, no, no. Okay, I need to direct myself towards this. Okay, that is a, uh... Oh, I can follow it with my ship. My ship has one too. Okay, down that way. Okay, so it seems to maintain some amount of speed between these. Like, if I'm going really super slow, it does make me go really super slow through it.
I'm trying to avoid spots of light whilst making my way towards the signal. Wait, what? Oh, it's here. Okay, well, this is the, the beacon never even left the ship. Actually, what I should do is I should target it match speed. There we go. That's how you do it. Okay, I got my suit on. <laughs> yeah. Signal. Okay. Alright, alright. I gotta somehow like stop myself from moving so that the time stops. There we go. Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place. This is sicker. Destroying our movement and communication ca capabilities in the process. We've held out as long as we could here, but this pod's supply of breathable air is nearly depleted and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance at survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or more probably await rescue. Sicker, is the message finished? The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. It'll be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here quickly. Oh, the the vessel had a beacon as well. But it's it's no longer no longer detectable, it would seem. Okay, I need to do that. Escape pod 3, vessel has been mortally injured, waiting to departure from the vessel. Launching escape pod 3. Multiple, multiple collisions have altered pod's trajectory. Significant damage to pod detected. Navigation error, life support error, propulsion error. External environment, scanning external environment, scan complete, gravity not detected, breathable air not detected. Multiple life forms detected, potentially hostile, verdict, do not exit pod. Yeah, this is the worst. This would be the worst place to... Oh. The ship up ship log got updated straight away. <laughs> There's a new problem. Our equipment... Oh, this is DIN. There's a new problem. Our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel. Ah, uh, they're having the same problem. <laughs> but it isn't possible for the vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. I agree, but the beacons are exactly identical to each other. Perhaps if I had more time. We're nearly out of time already, DIN. The vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it will be gone and we will be lost forever. We'll follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us. But suppose that beacon is false. We we likely don't have enough air to reach the father of the two beacons, Din. The decision is made for us. The decision is made for us. We'll leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pod's distress signal. A trail of lights? Okay. So is it... Is a trail of lights? Oh, that's the side we came from, isn't it? Yeah, so we go down here. Oh, okay. Let's get in our ship. I'm not doing that in my... I'm not doing that on foot. I'm not doing that with the potential of running out of fuel, you know? Fuel or oxygen. Okay, so that's what those lights are. I saw those lights. I didn't know what they were. Please don't lead me towards an anglerfish. Ah. Uh. It led them towards one of these seeds that 
is known by me at least. Yep, all the Nomai are dead. All these Nomai died trying to get to their vessel. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, they're like holding each other. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Oh, um, can I maybe, oh. To any who come here searching for us, we followed one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place, but now can go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within the thorny seed, yet the opening is too small for even a single nomai to fit through it, so our escape pod couldn't have flown through here. I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems to manipulate space itself. Maybe this was our undoing. To be so close to the location of the vessel and still so far is difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying. Soon, it will be una soon we will be unable to hear it. There is nothing we can do now but try to perhaps find a way inside or at least attempt to comprehend why this happened. My dearest hope is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safety. I wish I could tell him, him or her, that they did. They did, in fact, reach safety. Oh, of course. Um, no, 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 no. There it is. It's gonna land on the vessel. Okay, okay. Awesome. Now I can follow my own signal. I don't need the Nomai signal. I almost didn't think of that. Um, put that away. Or we can keep our... Oh. Um, yeah, we can keep our, uh... <laughs> Oh, that's what the duplicate signal is coming from there, yep. I was gonna say, we can keep our scout out there. Uh, let's have a read of our logs. Escape pod 3, no my grave. Uh, no my grave, because they're all dead there, yep. Escape pod 3, one of the three no my escape pods that crashed in our solar system. All three escape pods were launched from something called the vessel. Uh, the survivors from escape pod 3 detected two distinct beacons from the vessel. As if it was in two dis different places at once, yep. The survivors from Escape Pod 3 followed one of the two vessel beacons to a small, dark bramble seed where they could go no further. The Nomai could faintly hear the vessel's beacon from within the seed, but the opening was too small for a single Nomai to fit through, much less an Escape Pod. Huh. It's funny, I was just... I just suddenly thought about it. In a stream recently, it was in a scrap mechanic stream, some friends and I were talking about... the, the way to make like non-Euclidean spaces and I was specifically thinking on I was like musing on how I would do a space that's within a space so like you walk into the phone booth and suddenly you're in a space pod that's like way bigger than the phone booth you know I was thinking about because essentially you you're either deal with world portals or you deal with like nested spaces within spaces and actually this game does that I wonder how they do it. I wonder if you just tel teleport when you go through. It wouldn't surprise me, because that's like the easier way to do it. You just have the the space where you transfer be kind of foggy like it does, and then you just teleport the player to a new location somewhere outside of the solar system that has all the dark bramble like pod spaces. But yeah, you could also achieve that by transferring Yeah, I just suddenly thought you could do it that <laughs> this this dark bramble exactly does what I was imagining with the like spaces within spaces. Um, and it, you could totally do it with the method that I was thinking. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, yeah, they could hear the beacon through the seed, but it was, uh, opening was too small for a single nomad to fit through. Much less an escape pod, yep. The vessel's beacon was dying and would soon be gone completely. If I launch my scout into the seed, I can take photos of an enormous, derelict nomai ship. The vessel. I launched my scout into the sea at the Nomai grave and took photos of an enormous derelict no no Nomai ship. Yeah. Cool. 
Frickin' A. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so glad I thought of that at the end of the previous episode. Okay. So, through the seed there is a, is a way, but I can't go through the seed, of course. Okay, let's just line ourselves up. Go like that, because I don't know what the other spotlights are. Oh right, I don't want to fire one, do I? I'm flying blind in terms of what enemies there are. Let's just get through the seed. Uh-oh. I forgot about this space. So it was in it was in this space all along. I just didn't know. I've been through here several times and I never saw it. This is the one with all the seeds in it. Or the sorry, not the seeds, the the eggs. It's full of anglerfish eggs. <sighs> I hate this space. I have been delivered scones. <laughs> At the weirdest of times. I'm not gonna eat them just yet. I'm so glad I can, like, turn around in my ship. Because if I couldn't, like, turn around and look, I'd feel so, like, trapped. Yeah, I did all the testing required to check how those react in the previous episode. Thankfully, the, like, game about them being blind clicked in my head, because otherwise I would be so... I would never want to come back here and I'd just be stalled. Because I, I remember seeing a thing about how this, like, this planet had the stuff that I needed. Okay. I had the stuff that I needed to figure out how to avoid. Oh my god, there's another one right there. Oh god, I'm gonna, f I'm gonna hit the tree. Thank God, they're not as good at hearing as I thought. God. That was not a good entry. Oh, the silence. Oh, it's so quiet. <laughs> I'm taking a long time. It's not good. Oh! It looks like another escape pod. Like this one here. Let's just go over here first. Okay. Oh, this music. Okay, firstly... Let's see if I can get in here. It doesn't look like it. I don't think I'm going to be able to get in here. Yeah, I gotta be quick. I can't dawdle. Ugh, all the bones. Alright. How do I get in? How do I get in here? Oh god. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, I think that is the right way up. Okay, put that away. Oh, there's oxygen in here. Ship log updated. I'm surprised there's no gravity well stuff here. Oh, pick up warp core. Insert warp core. Oh. Um. Oh, do I have to put a? Sp do I have to bring stuff to this? Do I? This is clearly broken. Drop the 
I can't drop the warp core anymore. Wait, 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 wait. Put this back in. Insert warp core. Okay, wait, that's already up. Oh my god. <laughs> the friggin' weightlessness. if I bring it up here. Oh. Oh. Oh, I get it. Uh, um, I'm gonna have to draw it. It's the coordinates. It's the coordinates of the eye. I'm gonna put them in. I'm gonna get a good warp core. Stick the warp, good warp core in. Okay, there's other stuff I can read here. I'm gonna find a good warp core, stick it in, then put the coordinates I want in there. This is Escal's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp and our vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel appears to have, has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from the inside itself. From inside itself. We were abandoning our vessel. Any Nomai clans or sp space flight capable species receiving this message, I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. Do any my clans whose vessels can hear this message? It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within, a, within space now. So my clan and I believe the best option is, is for all of our clans to stay together. If you can reach the glowing, the gloaming galaxy, we've found that Black Rock's sun, sorry, yeah, Black Rock's suns are fairly stable and life in this star system is comparatively thriving. We live in rel relative safety. If you, if you prefer to continue exploring alone, know that you will be on your own. We're making our way to you. Kenna, we're making our way to you. It's good to hear from you, Bromi. We'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived and we haven't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. And he hasn't sent any messages, sorry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell. The disappearance of Escal. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day Escal's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clans searched and searched but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. Huh. That's no myth friends. Escal's clan existed and their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors' ancestors were told that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true? Hey sop. Hey sop. It was a very long time ago, but yes, my clan's ancestors searched for Escal's clan for a long time, but in the end none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has ever disappeared this way. Hisop, I hope you haven't com hope you aren't comparing Escal's story to my clan's vessel. Neem, my friend, we feared you were gone too. Not yet we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. The triple suns of the Bright Spark star system exploded, and it was only it was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you soon, Kenna. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious if, of potentially unstable stars. 
which is most of them now. Hmm. But I thought it said this was Eskel's ship. Yeah, so the the story of this vessel disappearing is known as like a an ancient story and as almost like a myth amongst other Nomai vessels. Somehow the that story is being told Weird. Somehow we're receiving that message. This this vessel is still receiving that message of the story of this vessel from other vessels, even though it can't communicate with them. Really weird, but interesting. I don't think I have time to get the warp sequence to function, but this is really cool. I gotta make sure as well that there aren't other entrances to this. I might try and draw the the coordinates. Now let's just quickly look at the logs. Can't believe I got here. Can't believe I did it. I found the derelict to know my vessel deep within Dark Bramble. The vessel's warp core is long dead. I activated a three-sided pillar on the vessel's bridge that appears to be some sort of input device. Nomai tried to call for help, but the vessel's outgoing message system broke during the crash. The vessel can still hear incoming messages from other Nomai vessels. The remaining Nomai clans are regrouping in response to the impending death of the universe. Yeah. Alright, so. Let's write this down. So, is that it? Is that the shape of it? Uh, with some paper. I'm not good enough at remembering shit like that. I have the number, I have the coordinates, but I don't have a functioning, like a proper functioning, uh, warp core. Okay, so, I have the coordinates written down. Do I want to venture around this? I'm just really afraid that I'm going to meet a friggin' anglerfish while I'm trying to fly around the ship. I should keep checking my logs because I'm pretty sure I saw, I've seen people talking about how they've made a new warp core. A nomad named Pokey successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ash Twin project. An advanced warp core, that's what I need. Yeah, when I saw this station... It felt like they were leading me. There was another lead that they were just like throwing at me with the investigate a newly arrived comet. I think that comet hit me, <laughs> didn't it? That's the thing that hit me. At least that's what seemed to have hit me when I first started this episode. So it must be, the warp core must be inside the Ash Twin project. I've just been sitting here for like 10 minutes reading uh, my notes. <sighs> the only thing I can think of I should just get myself killed because I need to just reset. There's like an advanced warp, there's an, an advanced warp core in the Ash Twin project, but like how do I get in there? And I was thinking about the warp towers on Ash Twin itself and wondering if there was some way I could use them to get inside Ash Twin. Then there's also like, I want to check what the, what the deal is with the interloper because there's a lead that led me there. There's just that, like they went to investigate the interloper. Or the, a new comet. But I'm like... Yeah, I don't know. I, I, in order to do that, I need to get out. But, like, I'm in this fucking hellhole of a... <laughs> it's gonna take ages for me to get out. And by the time I get it, I do that, I'm gonna be... It's gonna be time up. Yeah, there we go. Time's up. Let's just fly around the vessel for a bit. See, so yeah, these, these pods I'm seeing... These are other pods that weren't launched. These are other escape pods that weren't launched at the end. I think they're all being blocked by vines and stuff. I can't get into them. Or actually no, the ship itself is leading to them, but there's nothing in there, so don't need to worry about it. This game, man. This is such a fascinating game. Look at that. Yeah, we're technically somewhere inside Dark Bramble, but 
I don't know how that gets represented by the exploding sun. I shouldn't have any need to go back to Dark Bramble until I figure out how to get the uh, advanced warp core. Let's check the interloper. Just because I have a feeling there's not much to that. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's just check the log. I can go like this. Oh, I can't. I thought I could lock on to a planet using that. Oh, shit. Never mind then. I think there is something to that, but I forget how, to, how it works. Oh, there it is. Hey, Quantum Moon's on Dark Bramble again. What is with that? Okay, I do not have my suit on yet. <laughs> I keep forgetting to just put it on as soon as I... As I get in my ship. Oh, weird. Oh. Yeah, I'm assuming this is like ice, basically. Oh, oh yeah, I'm just sliding around on top of it. Yeah, I don't know what to expect with this, honestly. Okay. Nothing specific in the ice. I don't like the sound of that. Is it melting? What's happening? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, what's at the southern end? What is that? Oh, it's a Nomai vessel! This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin. Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were to if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think, Clary. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Pokey and I can continue to investigate the surface. So it was Clary, Pokey, and Pi. Pokey Pie. Okay. Yeah, what is there to find here? Other than that. Yeah, why did they land on the dark side? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go back to my ship real quick. Oh! Did my ship get sucked off the interloper? God damn it. Well, this is gonna be a short cycle. God damn it. Okay, I think the only thing I can glean from this is that, um, like, to find out anything more about the interloper, I'm gonna have to, uh, get to the Ember Twin. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh my god. No! I'm not gonna make it! <laughs> I was right there! Literally, uh, as I was dying just there, it was- it- it filled my thing with oxygen. God damn it. You should have a little more time before dying of- of suffocation. For reference, a human can survive, like, at least two or three minutes. Some people can last, like, seven minutes with a- with a good lung full of air. 
but most the average person like two to three minutes uh before they start to su you know before that you actually full-on suffocate but even then oh frozen to my shuttle gravity cannon okay let's have a look there's more to explore here god damn it Find a Nomai shuttle uh, almost completely in case nice. There were three Nomai aboard the shuttle. One of them stayed behind to keep the shuttle warm while the other two explored the interloper. The Nomai shuttle that froze, that's frozen on the interloper can be recalled home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin. Yeah, okay. Ember Twin. Let's go. Once again. The frickin... <laughs> what is it with the... What is with you, man? What is with the, um... Oh god. I forgot again. It's actually always way closer than I think it's going to be. I never did call the shuttle back here. I don't think I did, at least. Okay, just frickin'... That's fine. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Time is always of the essence. Oh! <laughs> get out of here. Let's re have a read of this. I think I already read it. Currently resting at the comet. Yeah. Gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Oh. There we go. Yeah, it's full of ice, but I can get into it now. Oh. Oh, it's a suit. Thought it was a corpse, although there is a skeleton in here. I fear our situation may be dire. Pi, Pokey, and I landed here on this comet not long after its arrival on the star in the star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Pi and Pokey were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side, and they descended inside to investigate the source of the readings. God dang it! <laughs> but Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Pokey, Pi, come back to me safely, my friends. Well, what's interesting is that I'm pretty sure Pokey and Pi didn't- well, we'll find out, won't we? I don't think they died on- on there. At least I don't think they would have. But Clary seems to have died in the ship. No one recalled it. You would have thought after a while, after a certain amount of time, they're like, okay, we need to save someone, you know, at least one of the people. I don't fully understand how these pods work. I don't want to test it. Okay. Where's my ship? There it is. <laughs> it's just like jammed in the side. <laughs> okay, refuel. Get back to the interloper, find that fissure. Okay, let's not get sucked into the sun. That's what happened is we got the interloper gets real close to the sun. Oh, interesting. So it's always facing... Oh, so the side I landed on is the side I've got to investigate. There's apparently a fissure on it. Okay, let's just get into landing mode. Yeah, but because I landed my ship on that side, it got super close to the sun and it probably got pulled out, you know, off the interloper. And yeah. Anyway. Okay. So... The sunward side, there's a fissure. Somewhere in the ice. Funny, because that's where I first looked. I didn't see it. Like, I saw this. But I explored it, and there was nothing there. Yeah, I was skating around this little bit. That was the first thing I did when I landed here. Okay, let's check the log. Oh. Um. Okay. No, my landed the interloper on the interloper not after not long after the arrival in the Sol system. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from beneath, somewhere beneath the surface. Clary and the Nomai who stayed behind lost contact with the other two after they descended below the interloper's surface. I recall the Nomai shuttle from the interloper, yeah. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from some, somewhere beneath the surface. Two of the Nomai located a fissure in the ice on the interloper's sunward side. Fissure in the ice. The only thing I can think of is that maybe I'm too late already. Maybe you gotta land on the interloper super fast before it gets to the sun. I mean, because maybe it melts the fissure clothes. Are we gonna get close to the sun again? 
maybe... Is that a snowflake? It is. Snowflakes are coming off the interloper. Yeah, either I have to come here really early on, or I have to wait around until it goes close to the sun, or something like that. I can't think of anything else. It's got to be to do with melting, right? Because there's no other ice. Like, there was an ice planet, but then it became Bramble, the Dark Bramble. Maybe this planet has, like, an ice feature that that other planet was gonna have, but then they removed it? I wonder if it's a bit like the passageway on Ember Twin, where it's like, this area's in Ember Twin where you have to, in order to get through it, you have to wait for the ash to be a, or the, the sand to be a certain height. So you can, so you can start the passageway, but then the, of course the passageway is slowly filling with sand. Oh? Yeah, see I heard that noise before. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's, that's horrifying. I hate that. <laughs> oh. Mm. Okay, so there's ghost matter here. People have died here. Interesting. Oh. I didn't see this. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it must- whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center, and I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. Oh, a tree. Thank you. Okay, yep, there's ghost matter down there. I know because these pictures are always black and white unless it's ghost matter. Yep, ghost matter. Oh, these are scary. So I'm just like sliding along. Sorry for the noise. I'm just like, I refuse to go anywhere unless I'm taking constant photos. As soon as I know there's ghost matter anywhere nearby. I just always like, take photos every few ha a few fractions of a second. Oh. Oh. Don't start moving too fast. Yeah, this is like a this is like a race track. I don't want to run out of fuel though either. Okay, let's just get through here. Alright. Oh. Okay, someone's corpse. Covered in the little crystals. That usually signify that there's some kind of ghost matter area ahead. Oh. Okay, um, that away. 
The spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. Uh, no, rather the source of what's within the stone, detecting some form of, of some form of exotic matter. The stone is mutate. The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. Hi, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing, but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Pi, whatever the matter inside the stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. What is this? It's whatever ghost matter is. This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantly. Instantaneously, sorry. And the pressure is still building as the comet approaches the star system. Return to the shuttle, right now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somewhere. Or somehow. Now. Now, Pokey. Okay. So Pi went in and got themselves killed, I guess. Well, whatever, whatever it was, it's opened up and it got released. Pretty sure it's the, th it's basically whatever ghost matter is. Okay, well let's get out of here. Ow. <laughs> this could be quite difficult to escape. I think we're actually out of time as well for this episode, so I might leave this here. I might just get myself killed. Yeah, let's just jump into the ghost matter. Oh, it it didn't inst- oh, never mind. I thought it didn't instantly kill me. <laughs> well, if you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. We'll pick this up uh, in the next rotation, in the next episode. Um, there's some, still some things I want to do, and I need to investigate the logs to see what that said about my my- initial my my intentions but anyway thank you so much for watching and until next time